Coffee's great and caffeine is a miracle drug, right? Well, everyone seems to be saying so. Caffeine is a miracle drug. I drink coffee. endless coffee. So naturally it must be true. And you might be thinking, what is this guy on about? Coffee is obviously a good thing. It has many proven benefits for athletic performance, for focus and all the other things. But you know what else has many proven benefits? Steroids, Adderall, even hard drugs. And I'm not trying to say here that if you drink coffee or energy drinks, you're gonna die by 40. But what I'm trying to show you is that no substance that gives you something won't take anything back in return. And everything has its drawbacks. So if you actually want to forge yourself into the healthiest, strongest and happiest version of you you can be, I think you should listen to what I'm about to tell you. So first, let me just ask you a question. Out of the many, many people you know that drink coffee, how many of them actually use it productively and use the benefits without overusing it and basically becoming addicted and reliant on it? Because in my experience with people who consume caffeine, there are basically only two types of people. There are those who can't go through a morning without drinking a cup of coffee or an energy drink, who experience those energy crashes and random headaches. And these people are genuinely sad, they're just addicted. Just watch if you replace the word coffee with any other addictive substance, you would think those guys are really messed up. Man, I really can't think without my morning beer. And the second group of people are those who actually say that caffeine doesn't do anything for them. And yet they keep and drinking and drinking and drinking. And these people basically just use it as a recreational drug. And the reason they don't feel affected by caffeine is because their body managed to adapt to it really quick. Being caffeinated has become their new baseline. They basically do not feel any different when they ingest it. So while these guys are probably just as addicted as the other group, they don't even know it. Now let's talk about why I think caffeine is bad and how it turns people into the things I described before. The thing that makes caffeine or anything addictive so bad is your body's ability to adapt. And while this ability is great, it's also a double-edged sword. And so while it can adapt to hardships and make you stronger and better, it also adapts to nice and pleasurable things. And while it makes harder things less hard, the same way this adapting makes the easy and fun things less fun. This is why you get bored of things and with normal things you just drop them and move on. But addictive substances are different because you can't just stop taking them. And so what happens is to reach the same amount of pleasure and fun your body requires now, you need to keep taking in more and more and more of that substance. And this is the same with all addictive substances, alcohol, drugs, nicotine, social media, everything. And while some of the side effects of those things can seem not that bad and honestly not harmful, where you take in so much of those things, the effects start to pile up and really take a toll on your health. And with caffeine, the most important thing about this is bad sleep. Caffeine will lead to trouble falling asleep, trouble sleeping, waking up at night, bad sleep quality. And even if you don't realize this and you think that caffeine doesn't do anything for you, your sleep quality will still be lower when you drink it. Whenever caffeine starts eventually leaving your system, it makes you experience those famous energy crashes that make you just not able to do things. And I think that if a substance makes you not able to do the basic things, that's just sad. There are also things that you don't notice like raised blood pressure, dehydration, headaches, and it also makes you piss a shit down. So. And most people consume way more caffeine than they actually think. Because yeah, sure, you consume caffeine in coffee, but it's also in basically every drink that isn't water. Coke, Sprite, sport drinks, everything. It's even in foods, like those manufactured things. Fast foods use it in their foods because when you take in caffeine, it makes you like the things that surround it more. Guys that go to the gym, I'm looking at you, you probably use pre-workout, and that thing fills up your max caffeine intent take just itself. But for me, the most important thing about caffeine is that it makes you dependent. And you will see this with people, they will drink a ton of it and yeah, sure, they will experience the benefits and in the short term, they might do things better, but in the long term, they become dependent. And that's why I think regular use of any drug is just really, really bad. And for me, it seems like taking things like this is just 
tearing away a part of your freedom in life. And yeah, you might be thinking, it's not that deep, man. This guy is really trying to nitpick on this. Yeah, maybe, but I really believe if you actually took some time off and put some effort into quitting this, you would really enjoy your life and body more. As you will also now know that it is in fact you who's achieving things, not some kind of substance. Also, I've heard many people who say that they tried not drinking caffeine for a few weeks and they actually did it and that they felt terrible. What I have to say to those, like, yeah, of course you felt fucking terrible. Have you never heard of how hard stopping an addiction is? Th like, these things can take years. And yeah, when addicts stop taking the drug, they feel terrible. This is exactly why they take it more and more in the first place. And those people just take one week off and say, oh, my life wasn't better in any way, I felt awful. So that means that coffee is great and there's nothing wrong with it. No, that's not how it works. <sighs> Man, that got me heat up. Anyway, my purpose here on YouTube, I basically strive to achieve the perfect body, but not in the way that social media tries to sell you right now. I'm trying to achieve the body that is as capable as possible in the real world, which might not look as good as Instagram models and bodybuilders, but in the end, those guys will get body dysmorphia and I will be happy because my body will allow me to keep doing the things I love and achieving more and more in life. So if you resonate with this thing and you also want your life to look like this, you know what to do. Subscribe and help a friend out.